Hello, Monet Cafe family. Here is a November teaser for some of the lessons you can expect in November. Hello, beautiful artists of Monet Cafe and newcomers. I'm artist Susan Jenkins, and I'm bringing you this little sneak peek of sorts of some of the highlights for what you can expect to learn in the month of November. I've already prepared the lessons. I had so much fun creating these paintings and lessons for you. I think you're gonna learn a lot. So check this out. And also too, uh, I don't say this much, but it really is the support that I receive from my Patreon page and my beautiful patrons who support me that allow me to keep Monet Cafe going, the YouTube channel, all of the groups and all of the content. So if you've ever considered becoming a patron, supporting Monet Cafe, it's only $5 a month. Also, you get lots of extra content. I'm providing even more real-time footage and better footage with no ads now. I'm able to upload directly to Patreon. So lots of excitement going on on the Patreon page. So just throwing that out there if you ever considered becoming a patron. So let's check out some of these November highlights and I'm gonna have so much fun this month with you. And also I'll be announcing the November theme very soon. All right, check this out. One of the fun discoveries you'll be learning is how to create a pastel painting on wood. Yes, it did work and it was a lot of fun and I really liked the end results. We'll also learn about the beautiful advantages of using ink tense blocks on pastel mat and having some fun with brilliant color. Now this month's theme is going to be on mark making. So yes, I even took this painting into a piece that's a bit more abstract with expressive mark making, showing the versatility of this pastel matte surface. I'm calling this month's theme Different Strokes, where we will explore different types of gestural and expressive mark making. And here was another fun discovery. I often suggest to do a value study with markers prior to starting a painting. And I thought, hmm, why can't we do a marker study as an underpainting? So I used a recipe for making my own pastel surface on this watercolor paper and it worked great. So once again, I'm being a mad art scientist in trying to come up with more ways to paint with soft pastels, creating our own homemade surfaces. I was very happy with this result and I'll definitely do it again. And this golden color is truly one of my favorites to use as a complimentary underpainting for many landscape paintings. I think you'll learn a lot with this lesson and of course have some fun. Now this one is one I'm working on right now and I'm very excited. I'm using a large homemade board. I will give you the recipe and I'm using acrylic ink, a beautiful acrylic ink dark to create the underpainting and applying soft pastels with a technique to keep a very dreamy quality. Again, with mark making as being the theme or different strokes, I'll be encouraging you to paint with your non-dominant hand as I am here since I'm normally left-handed. I think you'll find you can create more expressive strokes, believe it or not. So we're gonna have so much fun with lots of new discoveries this month. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek of what's coming in Monet Cafe. And once again, if you would like the extra commentary, real-time footage, extra goodies, consider becoming a patron of mine on my Patreon page. And as always, God bless and happy painting.